further bills at this juncture, three bills, um, two which are exactly alike in any case, and that is uh, the bills with regard to the four Ps. These are amendments to the four Ps law. And first among these are, of course, the uh, um, Bill 2496, Senate Bill 2496, Senator Ejercito, which is a... Uh, copy, I believe, almost uh, exactly, of the House Bill 8497, which is an act promoting inclusive education, entrepreneurship, and employment for sustainable development. I believe this is an effort to provide an exit strategy or at least prepare for an exit. I believe that that's the intention. I don't know if my understanding is correct. And further, there is uh, still pending in our agenda a resolution to uh, urge the Joint Congressional Oversight Committee on Pantawid Familia to convene with an end to uh, conducting a sunset review of uh, Republic Act 11310. So, uh, perhaps, um, these are what need to be uh, discussed at this juncture. So, firstly, um, under Republic Act 11310, institutionalizing the four piece, let us just recall and put on record that this constitutes the following. One, a health grant of $750 a month per household. Education grant, $300 per child in elementary, $500 in high school, $700 in senior high school, and the maximum of three children, 10 months a year. And finally, a rice subsidy of $600 per month for active and compliant households. The maximum monthly grant per household, therefore, would be 3,050 pesos. That's our understanding today of uh, the uh, four piece in uh, practice. Okay. Um, in the case of the House bill, as well as um, Senator Ejercito's bill, it seeks to expand the four piece with an adult education component with one adult beneficiary per household to complete adult education, non-formal education through ALS or the alternative learning system, the entrepreneurship track or the employment track. There is uh, therefore a grant of 500 per adult beneficiary. And uh, moreover, uh, the provision of the ease of starting up a micro or small business, job facilitation with the DOLE, and assistance through ALS or non-formal education. Senator Cayetano also seeks to include natural or man-made disasters, as mentioned earlier, with regard to AICS. And I uh, believe, and uh, the Secretary has expressed his assent, that uh, it's probably better placed under AIC since uh, it refers to disasters and one of uh, handouts. Um, furthermore, the resolution urges the Joint Oversight Committee to uh, convene with an end to conducting a sunset review of RA 11310. Um, the sunset review refers to uh, uh, I'm not certain what. Is it the sunset review because we're winding down four piece? I'm a little bit confused. Uh, Yusek Vilma? Madam, Madam Chair, from our understanding, it's not meant for uh, winding down, but rather yeah. it's an oversight for the uh, co for Congress and the Senate to look at the impact the positive or the negative impact of this program yes uh, and its program I don't components think we have any intention of uh, abolishing the but uh, more of a retooling if necessary yeah, I think it's just uh, as we spoke earlier the issue really of monitoring and evaluation and finally impact assessment of four p since 2007 madam chair Pins has been doing a regular impact assessment in fact they are running one now uh, 
they have a fora that will explain what their initial findings. But just the same, Madam Chair, for the record, we've also procured two types of impact assessment based on the instructions of the president. One, to look at the individual program components, what works and what doesn't work. Number two, uh, the macro study is to look at the overall impact of 4 piece in the total anti-poverty drive of government, whether it's relevant or is it pulling its weight. These two are currently being procured and we should be awarding it shortly. And we will gladly furnish the Senate uh, and Congress of copies of these studies once they are uh, completed or partially completed. Yes, I believe there are also international studies that we should consider. The World Bank has uh, been very, very uh, careful to assess every time the loans are renewed. Siguro kailangan rin uh, basahin yan in uh, the context of the World Bank and the other lenders. Yes, Madam Chair. Yeah. So, in any case, um, I have your position paper from DSWD. The DSWD says that uh, it commends the uh, provision of a sunset review, although we don't want to call it a sunset review because it may be misunderstood as the abolition of the program. Uh, let's just call it a uh, review. Impact assessment, pero parang impact assessment, taon-taon lang yun eh. Parang yung overview or whatever. Anyway, Surely you can find me a better uh, sounding. Uh, um, so, and uh, with that, um, we could also resolve certain issues. Um, the DFWD also has stated in its uh, position paper that it supports the consolidation of the House bill with regard to the Community Mobilization Grant. Uh, better uh, termed as the auxiliary grant. Uh, this would constitute cash assistance, supplementary in nature, for the cost of meals and transport incurred in the exercise of an identified activity, such as the availment of adult education. But even before we get there, before we get to the uh, title or the community or auxiliary grant, are you um, recommending that, in fact, uh, adult education be included as part and parcel of the four piece? Madam Chair, anything that will enhance the exit strategies, we will embrace. So for the record, we have submitted, a, we will submit a position paper that is uh, pushing for the adoption of this provision. Yes, I uh, believe the, um, the uh, provision of uh, a variety of diverse possible pathways out of poverty is always a good thing, but the actual mechanics is what bothers me. Uh, right now, the clientele, as we know very well, of the four Ps are families with children under the age of 18. There is no adult component. It's largely given on the basis of the children that they have who are minors. Um, this introduces a new component Kasi yung 4P parents, kasama na. Uh, will that become unwieldy or difficult to implement? My worry is kasi na-identify na natin yung mga pamilya. So are we saying na it's easy to expand to the parents kasi nandyan na yung pangalan? Or parang magulo to eh. Kasi di ba, vaccination and education. Right now we're talking about two things. Para sa bata. Tapos ngayon, papasok yung adult. Will, will it compromise the two uh, the two hallmarks of the, the four-piece program? Madam Chair, at, at, on, the, on the onset, it's something that we like. It's something that we appreciate. I'm just thinking but uh, we will also have, if you give us some more time, to study its execution. Uh, kung kaya namin ma-implement siya without, as you pointed out, making the pro program too unwieldy with so many moving parts. Kaya nga eh. But Madam Chair, um, if you would allow the department to study further, yes, it's yes, executability, yes. but we so do... I don't think it's a good yeah. thing and we're all uh, desperately in search of exit strategies as much as we can. Right now, our, our obvious as, um, exit strategies are SLP, Kalahi Seeds, pero not everyone's an entrepreneur. And there are others who'd like to go back to school or adult education or TESDA at, an, at a later age. Um, 
So we need to provide all of that because it's already been proven time and again that for peace um, has often not been a pathway out of poverty at all, although it has been very effective with vaccination and uh, um, primary and secondary school. So talagang gusto natin to. Kaya lang, should it be part of the broader context of for peace or hihiwalayin natin? Kung baga sa budget, line item siya, di ba? Oh, papano, idadagdag yan? Kasi parang hindi na siya kasali eh. Madam Chair, um, if you give us some Yuna time... Na, that's why. I'm not in a mad rush. I'm just raising the questions. Like Secretary Rex, uh, I was a former local chief executive. And always in our mind is how to implement best the laws that come out of Congress. And very often... Um, the uh, laws that were well-intentioned and uh, well-meaning remain unenforced or unimplemented because uh, the mechanics were not clearly thought out. So let's try and do that since we both share the same experience of local governance. Yes, Madam Chair, we look into it closely. Yeah, kasi gusto natin mangyari. We want those exit strategies. We want these guys to get out of the uh, poverty trap. Pero alin yung pinakamagandang gawin, ano? Because right now, there are so many programs na sa ALS, di ba? Sa DepEd, meron yan. Alam rin natin yung DOLE. Marami rin ang DOLE, meron pang TESDA. Alam rin natin may entrepreneurship sa DTI. Makakautang ka sa SBC. Inaagaw ba ng DSWD ang trabaho na mas angkop sa ibang department? Na kung tutuusin, mas magaling sila dyan eh. Trabaho nila yun eh. So... Uh, baka it's a referral service that's required. Then we'll study and all the not, details. Uh, the AIC, uh, ay, SL, not the four piece. piece as a programmatic. Baka naman ang dapat gawin, e suriin kung sino yung mga four piece parents, naka-organize na rin lang, sino yung may gusto ng iba't ibang uh, modes na pwedeng i-offer ng DOLE, DTI. Dami-dami dyan na talagang uh, DA, meron din, di ba? I'm sure we'll look into all those Aralin finer natin, details. Aralin yun na lang ang akin dito sa bill na to. At yung auxiliary grant, uh, meron auxiliary grant. In that case, the auxiliary grant would be for a job or livelihood seeking effort, di ba? The grant would be specifically for that to uh, uh, clearly um, be uh, focused towards finding livelihood, employment, and so on, which until today remains the big question with for peace, di ba? Kasi wala pa rin trabaho, nag-graduate na, mahirap pa rin, di ba? Lagi naman yan ang uh, issue natin. So the provision of employment and entrepreneurship and activities, pati yung mga, pati yung mga NGO, Yung kung minsan, mas magaling sila sa ibang uh, trabaho, di ba? They're much better at certain uh, issues. And I think we have to tap them the same way that we can tap the national government agencies. Baka pag-isipan natin ng maigi na lang ito. Kasi, uh, eto nga, last October, nagambala lahat, di ba? Dahil sabi ng COA noong 2022, 90% of the active beneficiaries of the government's four piece are still well below the poverty line and will remain there. Di ba? Kasi ang hirap-hirap makapag-graduate. Pinipilit natin mag-graduate, pero mahirap pa rin. Di ba? So, paano kaya makapag-graduate na mas marami? Diba? Yun, ang, uh, yun ang talagang uh, gusto natin mangyari. Ang hirap-hirap, paano ba i-graduate yan? Baka this is uh, a way to do it. Pero I think it, uh, it's not just a single bill. There's no silver bullet. I think we'll probably have to think of this a little bit more deeply. We'll do, do Madam think? Chair. Yeah, uh, on my part, I will do the same since we go through the budget so often. And we can identify the different expertise of so many NGAs and NGOs, religious groups, co-ops, civic organizations, anyone who can help, basically. Noted, Madam Chair. Okay. Um, so these are the uh, issues that we have discussed. And uh, I recall that in February, Secretary actually mentioned that more than 700,000 of the 4.4 million 4Ps have graduated 
65% due to self-sufficiency, and the rest from natural attrition and the kids just getting older. Um, can the Secretary explain a little bit so that it's on record? Madam Chair, uh, if you can recall, uh, we had that issue about cleaning the list. So uh, late last year, uh, sometime August, the uh, National Advisory Counts Committee Council of the uh, Four Peace decided to adopt the SWEDI, the Social Welfare Indicator, as a means to really look at the well-being of every individual. Nagsimula to, ma'am, kasi kung matatandaan nyo, ang daming na didilist. Pero sinasabi, pag tinignan mo, mahirap pa rin sila. At uh, kumonsulta ko kami sa PSA, at nasagot nga nila, baka yung proxy means test natin, hindi na siya angkop sa post-COVID poverty. So ang ginawa natin, inulit natin ho yung proseso, nag-SWEDI ho tayo, yung social welfare indicators, at uh, nakitatuklasan ho natin doon na meron naman ho talagang mga um, kababayan natin sa four piece na pwede nang mag-graduate. Ang exact number nun, uh, nasaan eh? Yung, yung exact, exact ha? 370. Kasi yung balance yung mga non-compliance. Non-compliance. So, it, out of that exercise, ang uh, naging level 3 na or yung self-sufficient na sila is 371,971. The other ones were from natural attrition. The other ones were from non-compliance. So, may I have uh, perhaps uh, a brief, and I mean brief, one to mm. two pages, um, just explaining the uh, oh. replacement by the Swede of the proxy means test yes, and uh, the results thereof. Can we also um, put that up against the PIDS, the Philippine Institute Development Study? that uh, is supposed to conduct a periodic impact assessment uh, every three years. What's the status of that? They, they're conducting it. In fact, this Thursday, they're going to present to us their initial findings. Pwede bang ibangga yun, yung dalwa? Kasi gagawa kayo ng Swede, mm -hmm. meron ring impact assessment. Para, Ma para, buo, at, um, para buo yung ating assessment ng 4 ps uh, Ako, I'm a firm believer. Pero ang paniwala ko kasi, dapat, ang uh, four piece, I think I've told some of you many times this. At this point, 2007 to 2024, dapat dumami na yung ibat ibang four piece. Ibig ko sabihin, uh, hindi lamang vaccination and secondary education. Dapat iba iba na yung four piece. Dapat meron ng unconditional cash transfer. Maliwanag yun, bedridden elderly, PWD, na uh, sobrang uh, challenge na. Maliwanag na kailangan unconditional yun. Dapat meron ng ganon. Tapos meron ng four piece. Tapos, di ba? You, you know what I mean? It should diversify. Uh, given the clientele that you serve, iba-iba na rin, uh, na-identify na natin sa haba ng panahon. Uh, sa, sa pakiwari ko, hindi na sapat yung dalawang uh, uh, measurement, yung vaccination and education. So I'm just wondering, since you're in the process of doing the Swede post-COVID, and then we're supposed to be compliant with the law, which requires the PIDs to assess every three years, sana tignan natin maigi and come up with some solutions like tanggalin na yung mga conditional, nasa ibang lugar na sila, yung unconditional, di ba? Para ma-service ang lahat, para ma-diversify ma yung four-piece. Kasi napako na tayo na napakahabang panahon uh, sa vaccination and uh, education. Eh, paano yung adult education, entrepreneurship, employment, hindi na nabilang na yun. Eh, paano yung, PW, paano yung mga uh, very challenged at saka bedridden seniors? Talaga namang, an, hindi na, hindi talaga sila makocover kailanman, di ba? At saka pa, paano yung poor pa rin, pero mas may adult children na. What do we do with all of them? So, I don't know. Parang, for peace has to offer a more, a more diversified menu beyond those two measures that we have. I don't know, it may be ambitious, but uh, at least we'll be self-aware of where we are lacking. Madam Chair, maybe if you will allow, we'll uh, listen to the PEDS initial presentation. Right, that's why. So and I was then, asking, um, Kellen sila magpe-present? Sa amin this Thursday, sa atin, no? Thursday, sa Thursday. Uh, 
Kasi every three years... With other sectors pala yun. Every three years kasi ang requirement sa batas eh. They will be presenting this Thursday. It's an open forum for everybody eh. Pero kailan yung uli? Pwede magpadala ng tao? Pwede, ma'am. This Thursday... Sige, you let us know the details can, para we can send it's Ma'am, it's an online webinar. We'll make sure that our people inform your people so oh, they can sige, log you in. Let us, yeah. You let us know para Link. makinig din yeah. kami. Yes, ma'am. Tapos sa... Uh, Kailan ba yung huling bids? Parang ang tagal pre-COVID. 2019, ma'am. Correct. It was pre-COVID. Kaya ang tagal-tagal na nito. Kaya nga, uh, gusto ko nga makita. Kasi nga, yun nga, nag-move on na kayo eh. Kayo, nag-move on na kayo sa Swede eh. eh from the proxy means, nag-move on na kayo. Eh, ano nang itsura ng uh, bids? So maybe we can put that together. Tapos, there's also data, di ba, from the World Bank and the ADB, the donors. nag assess rin sila, nag impact assessment rin sila. I've seen very large books on it. Yes, ma'am. We'll take note of all of those and we'll make sure to send you, the, your office, the link for the yes. webinar of uh, PEDS this Thursday. The, the problem, I believe, is that we always point to four Ps as the solution to multidimensional poverty. When you and I know for a fact that it only addresses two things, vaccination and secondary education. So pag sinisisi tayo, wala tayong masagot. Kaya nga, naiisip ko, baka naman kailangan talagang suriin maigi kasi there are the other um, uh, sources of poverty or the causes of poverty that haven't been addressed by four piece. Four piece isn't a silver bullet kasi for poverty. Pero kung minsan, dun na na papako yung isipan natin eh. No, well noted, ma'am. We'll, we'll listen to the PEDS. We'll evaluate and stack it up against Swedish outputs as well as the other donor studies. The World Bank was very clear. Eh? They said that uh, four piece is too little and uh, too little money to too few people. And that you and I know for a fact is correct. Uh, it's just too little money to change poverty. But uh, they also advise that it only addresses short-term poverty. So if we need to move forward, siguro uh, one of the ways would be to start the uh, um, identifying the unserved constituencies, um, the other poor, the non-four-piece poor. Siguro yun ang... We'll look uh, into that, Madam Chair. Way. Obviously, there is a clamor for that also. Yeah, and uh, baka, baka pag nagkaganon, uh, mabawasan rin yung gulo ng AX para it won't be so fluid and so malabo and so political. Kasi lagi namang kulang ang pera. Alam naman natin yan. Laging kulang ang pera. Pero kung may palatandaan, walang aalma, di ba? Kung talagang bedridden na aged, kung talagang uh, severely challenged PWD, eh ilagay na natin sa kahon ng unconditional. That's the biblical poor. Talagang reto na natin yan na alagaan forever. Di ba? Well noted, ma'am. Sige. At saka, Pwede nang pumasok sa DOH, right? Kasi that's already their constituency. We're moving into the constituency of DOH. Tama ba? Then you can top other agencies. Yung mga gusto mag-aral, ayun. ALS, DepEd, tapos sa kanila, sa DOLE, TESDA. Ted, ma'am. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, uh, Ms. Bashano. Yes, um, I, uh, I think I mentioned the bedridden uh, elderly. I'd like to manifest uh, uh, the Commission's um, support for the uh, enactment of first the AX and uh, second uh, the uh, amendment of uh, uh, the uh, four piece. So uh, if I may uh, uh, go back a little uh, because uh, I think we have, uh, we have already uh, gone past uh, the AX but we wish to uh, um, <clears throat> put in some, some things, some ideas maybe, uh, to help out. Uh, I think one of the things that uh, the AX needs is a database. Uh, 
a comprehensive database it's, uh, which can make the program. It's very tricky to do the database when there's a disaster. Yes. Kasi nagbabago po yan. Yes, but... At saka uh, namatayan at nagkasakit. Kaya nga, bilib na bilib ako sa DSWD kahit pa paano na nabubuo nila ang mga listahan na yun. Madam Chair. Yes, we agree. We agree, but uh, I think uh, it is very important that uh, the services uh, it, uh, the services are recorded and uh, so uh, to avoid, would be able to avoid uh, duplications uh, when Actually, I, not necessary. That's correct. And yes, uh, yes I think the Secretary has already manifested uh, his initiative in that regard. And also uh, um, about the establishment or the creation of a unit of uh, 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 the AX that will take charge of the AX program in every in every municipality, because uh, uh, as as per experience, I've I've, I've seen so many people uh, lining up in the uh, Batasan complex, uh, in the area of uh, the DSWD, and uh, I, I I pity the older people. They, they, yes, uh, they sit on the embankment, and uh, they, they keep coming back. And for how many days? Uh, I was thinking, wasn't, uh, is there no law uh, about the ease of doing business? I think there is the ARTA, and I hope no, that. No, the can issue be is that uh, often they keep coming back, but they're actually not qualified or not in the list. That's precisely what I said earlier. Sa ngayon kasi. Pagpipilita na nasa 4P, subalit wala namang anak na under 18. So, Kaya nga, dapat yung offerings ng DSWD at saka yung 4 piece sana damihan, i-diversify. And yes. Secretary Rex wants to respond. Madam Chair, uh, to our resource person, I'm sorry I also have bad eyesight. I agree, there, we're running the ease of doing social welfare. In fact, the initiative of the department is to automate. Uh, inunahan lang muna namin doon sa uh, social registration, licensing, and accreditation of social welfare development agencies, mga NGOs, people's organization. We're launching that. Next, we will now procure, we're in the process of procuring an automated version of AX para how they can do it in the comforts of their home. I agree with you ho, that people should not be meant should not be asked to come out if they can. But let me just clarify, ho. Yung nakikita nyo sa labas ng office namin, some of them are mga kasama. Yeah. Yung, yung client is inside, but sometimes may kasama kasi walang nagbabantay sa bahay. But we assure you there's an automated system, a rudimentary automated system in the department in that office, kasi that's where I hold the office. And I also, yan ang first objective namin, ayaw na, they go there an hour before opening, which is around 7 o'clock. So they're there by mga around 5.30 or 6. And then, we do a self cut off by 700 people yun lang is service natin the rest will be given QR codes na may schedule na nila sa next nila that's how it's run in the central office but unfortunately sometimes may dala dala kasi sila yun nakikita nyo doon mga kasama na minsan at marami talagang hindi qualified yeah, isa pa na kumiglas <laughs> aminin yeah but uh, ma'am madam chair as a manifestation I'm, I'm a firm believer of automating things even when as a city mayor. And uh, we're already in the process of automating things in the department. Siguro, Please give us some time. Siguro may dadagdag ko dyan. Unahin na yung senior citizens na uh, bedridden and also the severely challenged PWDs. I think they deserve a priority. Pero ang problema ko, maski yung senior citizens sa uh, commission, walang listahan ng seniors. So maasa pa rin sa DOH at sa PhilHealth. Kaya sang katutok na turuan, nag-umpisa tayo kanina, ano ang translation ng Chubibo? Huwag i-chubibo yung mga lolo at lola. Okay. At totoo po yan, uh, Senator, but uh, uh, naniniwala kasi kami. She, of, of course, yung NCSC uh, is very new. That is new. In, it's in not fact, that it is new, Paul. In fact, it is With not even... With all due respect, it's already been carrying on for a while, Paul. Uh, yes, but uh, it's not uh, fully operationalized. Uh, uh, secondly, wala, wala, wala rin silang masyadong malaking pondo. Konti ang kanilang pondo. And uh, 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 the DSWD having been there for so long and having having been running uh, programs for senior citizens um, 
mas inaasahan siguro ng NCSC na mas may ano sila, mas may maayos silang listing ng mga nakatatanda dito sa ating bansa. So <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So uh, anyway, is that all? Anyway, yes. anyway uh, is that okay? Uh, yes. yes. So uh, since uh, Uh, like you said, I uh, wala ring ano ang DSWD and in fact the NCSC also uh, neither has it uh, uh, a complete listing and database ng ng mga ng kanilang kliyente. Uh, but I think this is one thing that uh, government should uh, uh, strive uh, to have ano to uh, to 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 have in its possession. Kasi for for programs to be to be successful, mahalaga na ito ay naka, naka uh, founded on on uh, mga ano mga solid na uh, facts uh, such yes, as po. exact numbers and so on. Uh, <clears throat> and then also um, na babanggit hindi lang po ngayon yung naririnig ko na yung uh, nakakatanggap ng ano ng AX. Uh, they they have to come back uh, so many times sa mga offices uh, para lang uh, marilisan sila and then it takes uh, quite a while uh, oh, before po. the release yes. ng ano ng kanilang Any further benefits. comments po on the bill because we have to wind down magsasara po yung Senado okay uh, ito po sana uh, tungkol naman ito doon sa ano sa four piece uh, there are several uh, suggestions from uh, from our group Uh, 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 ting ang tingin po kasi ng, ng mga, mga kasama namin is that uh, nag ang, ang pagkukulang ng, ano, ng four piece program ay uh, you provide uh, educational uh, programs etc pero uh, you don't assist them or maybe you do but uh, kinukulang siguro ang serbisyo on the other hand uh, on the other end kung saan uh, yung mga mga skills na dinevelop sa kanila ay may ma-match doon sa mga available jobs uh, available na employment so uh, yes i think that's what we were talking about earlier po yes madam uh, so ang ang suggestion po is first uh, test die in collaboration with dole should link and keep an inventory of available jobs with entrepreneurs willing to take in non-formal education graduates to complete the employment track. And number two po, no collateral low interest loans should be made available to those who want to open their own business to complete young entrepreneurs, uh, entrepreneurship uh, track. Technical support shall be provided by TESDA until the business Would has Would you like to off. submit your position paper, Po? Because uh, some of those topics have already been raised earlier. Uh, okay, Po. Pero na today siguro kasi i-consolidate pa po namin. Opa, sige. At yes. uh, kung may katanungan, mag-usap na lang kami ni Lope.